So the Boo Original Dolls came out what, just yesterday. I've been thinking about how cute it would be to make a little Frankie outfit for Stitch here. Look at him. Okay, I'm next to Frankie. Look at that oh, doll. Oh. I have a pattern for the top. Don't, but I think I can turn it into a skirt. How oh, is this a pattern on Frankie's clothing? I can get the studs easily. It's just, I don't, know. I don't have netting that small. And that particular blue plaid, I don't have it in that scale. So let's see what I can do. I think this fabric would work if I was making it for me. It has like the perfect pattern and everything if I was making this human sized. So, next option. So here's my option for white fabric I think might work. I have this one with this nice design on it. Oh, I have the striped one. I think the striped one might be better because it gives us more of a like, I don't know, school uniform vibe. This black fabric looks like it would work, and I think I can dye this tool black. So, now I'm missing is the main piece. I really think I have a better white fabric option. I just have to find it. It has like a little, little cute designs on it that I really think would work. I accidentally made the perfect uh, skirt for Jackie Ola. Surprisingly, it's hard to get that slightly rough of the fact. So here's the fabric after I dyed it. I really like that color. Here's it next to the dress. It's a bit more green than it's supposed to, but I kind of like it. I never really realized how much of Frankie's dress is like an old school uh, school dress vibe, from like 70s, no 50s, until I like made it and didn't add the belt and the necktie. That's when it became really clear to me. The monster high dolls mean a lot to me. Uh, one of my personal favorites is Abby Bomino. I really, really like her. I also, to be honest, I'm more of a Cupid fan. I really enjoy the concept of jumping universes, especially in media. So I love, I love Cupid's story and that Monster High and Never After High. I just wish that Monster High movie was made because I read the book, but the book didn't mention the fact that Cupid could skip universes, which would have been a vital part of the story. And it's just so frustrating. I'm really excited for the Monster TV show to come out. It looks like it's gonna be good, but I feel like it's gonna be bad good, you know, in the way that most kid movies are. My personal favorite Monster High movie is Boo York, Boo York. I love the music in it. I really like the song Empires. And anyway, it's also occurred to me that I'm probably posting this video a month after it came out, like the dolls came out, which I think, I mean, I'm posting it in Pride Month, which is kind of funny, simply because of the amount of dolls in the Monster Eye universe that are supposed to be gay, but they couldn't get the approvals to make them canonically gay outside of Valentine, and that was in a collector's store that most people didn't have access to. So it together, that's like basically it. Now, I don't know if I want to like make all of my patterns available, but recently I've been making embroidery patterns that, that I've been posting on my Instagram for free to use. So that interests you, go check it out. So one of the cool things about this tool bit is the fact that it is slightly longer than the actual dress itself. Now here's some black fabric I'm painted and put dots on and here's what it looks like done. Yeah, so I, I don't really like these sort of so much, but you can kind of like see the Frankie in it. I just do these a lot better, probably because they're next to a embroidery machine, which really ties together the whole Frankie is stitched together theme, you know? Anyway, if you like this video of me rambling about Monster High, give it a like, comment, subscribe, you know, do all those things.